Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm JP and I like to produce DJ related videos. It's been a while since we've had any DJ news stories on the channel and I want to start to put up a regular DJ news video out on the channel starting with this one. This might be a monthly roundup or just a random as and when. Only time will tell. I have seen reported in the press, well, Gazette News Online, which I am reliably informed is the definitive news service for Colchester and North East Essex in the UK, that recently a DJ in Colchester who works in one of the bars on the high street cool coda, that he's decided to start charging for popular requests. This might be a publicity stunt, but we'll go with the fact that it's DJ News, so I've got some content and we have a video. Coda, according to their website, which was established in 2018, is a multi-award winning live music venue, has capacity of up to 200 and is beating heart of the community. I'm not sure how successful the venue is, as when I viewed the website on the 10th of June 2024, they had their January events poster up, complete with snowflake background. Luckily, the social media has June's post, what I did notice is they are very much a live music venue and every Saturday night they have covers bands and no doubt play popular music. The DJ whose stage name is DJ Press Play, aka Colin, age 51, has decided that he is absolutely fed up with the same old requests week in week out and no matter if the punters who are buying the drinks and keep the bar open want them or not, he will not be playing popular tunes. Additionally, Colin is quoted to have said, the majority of these people request songs they personally love. Hopefully, Colin did not take long time to work that one out. He goes on to say, but it does not always fit the vibe of the night or the crowd. The article says, Colin has been DJing for 17 years and has noticed that since lockdown, people won't take no for an answer and some can be very demanding. Colin's added he will charge a thousand pounds for Mr. Brightside and 500 pounds for Wonderwall. However, birthday requests are priced at 50 quid. I wonder if you can say it's your birthday and request Mr. Brightside for 50 pounds? Hey, let me know if anybody's tried it. Colin, in my opinion, if you're DJing a venue that is a live music venue, so you're doing the bit of the warm up, a bit when the band take a break, and after when the band have finished to hold the clients in the venue to maximise the bar's takings for that night, you probably should not be playing Mr Brightside no matter if somebody does lump up the grand cash until at least the covers band has finished, as there's probably a high probability that they're going to play that. Before I give you my full opinion on here, this is what some of the local Gazette readers had to say in their comments. What a load of tripe, said one commenter. How much for the birdie song, said another. And a comment from potentially another DJ. That's him receiving less bookings. Well done, lad. Well, in my opinion, if you work city and town centre bars to DJ, then people requesting tunes that don't work, don't fit and are just overplayed are par for the course. It's your job to bat those ones off if they don't fit. If you don't have the confidence to say no, or the comeback ability to politely bat them away, then this could be a solution. I cannot see it being a thing as people are not going to pay for requests. I do think that you need to play what fills the floors, and in many cases, it will be the highly popular overplayed stuff. I can't see your pricing structure working at private events like weddings and parties, as you're paid to play what the person booked you to play. I wonder what other DJs think about this policy. Would it work where you DJ? Obviously at sensible prices. Colin's priced everything he does not want to play at a rate no one will pay. But could you see someone paying a tenner or a 20? You working like a jukebox? Could be a great tip system. Way to make some extra money on the side. Let me know your comments. And if you think Colin has come up with a gem of an idea, then comment below, go Colin. And if you think Colin is a bit of a you know what, then comment, Colin, you're a plonker. And I'll let you know the outcome in the next video. 
Just to pre-answer any questions about frequency of posting on this channel, yes, I've not been too well recently, hence the lack of videos. Hopefully I'll be able to bring more as time goes on. But thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for subscribing, and I look forward to bringing the next video when I can. JP out.